Well, hello my friends. Here I am. Today I want to do a comparison. And I got a special treat today. My grandson. Um, uh, maybe he wants to take after his granddad. I don't know. But uh, if he sees me out here, late as of late, uh, he comes running out here. He wants to get involved. And besides, this piece was started with him. So um, it's had a couple of modifications, but I'm going to let him do some of the sanding and uh, uh, work the piece and applying the finishes to it. The comparison that I'm doing is whether if you should uh, seal and wet sand or just apply a finish without the, that step in. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is sand the piece through all my grits, the regular grits that I, I use, the uh, 80 to 400. And I don't know what the grit is on this, but I will use a scotch Bright as well after the 400 and buff it up on both applications. And uh, I myself am curious to find out exactly how much difference there is between one method and the other. So you guys will see just as well. Let me bring you in there and hopefully this video will be somewhat informative and you guys can use for future projects. Well, say hello Elias first of all. So anyway, at this point, uh, I'm going to use the power sander and I'm going to start it off with 80 grit, sand this down all the way through, uh, through the 400 plus the scotch uh, bright pad and then apply my finish with just wax, no sanding sealer and look at those results. Um, I could do it half and half and it might be a good idea to do that. but the light will reflect the difference so I don't know if you'll get a good uh, sense for what's going on so why don't I do that though kind of split it up in the middle do this part with just the wax do this part with a wet sanding uh, so you can actually see both pieces at the same time here we go and I'm not gonna bore you through this sanding I just want you to know that it's there and of course I will uh, 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 time-lapse through this, as usual. Okay, you gotta hold it like in the palm of your hand, like that. Your fingers up there, keep your thumb back here, and press with your fingers. Press hard. Okay, let's see. Well, I gotta see this line, this white line. Okay, that means that that white line shows that the sanding is a little bit different between he these two areas, but it's not what you did because you can't take it off with this. You, I would have to resand that with the, the big sand. Let me just rub this a little bit. Grab it good, Elias. Grab the whole paper towel. There you go. Yeah. Nothing going on. 
we both saw the bowl? I don't think she probably did, but it's not finished either way, so. about time I get some help. I helped you yesterday. Well, yeah, well, you did stop this one yesterday. No, the day before. That's true. Now nah, you don't need to look at it. Think it's good? Okay, put this big towel aside. Okay. So we got a wax finish on the front. Bring you in there. And it doesn't look too bad. It, it looks decent. Uh, of course, you know, the angle doesn't allow you to see the true reflections on this. There we go. Reflecting the light against the wall actually shows it better. Hard to believe. But that's just send it to 400. Sand it with uh, uh, scotch Bright and apply the wax. The back side has been applied sanding sealer, wet sander with 1200, and now we're ready to apply a wax and buff that up and we'll do the comparison. for the true test and I don't know how I can uh, show off the front of the back and be a true comparison but you can see the super gloss that's on this half um, a little bit more than you can on the uh, on the front part they both have a good uh, a good finish but when I look at between here and here this is a little bit deeper of a, a finish than this one is this is more like a surface uh, luster this one seems to be deep into the wood that's my comparison so again, I don't know if there's any way that I can literally show this. In any other way. anyway this is wet sanded and uh, one coat of wax
this is two coats of wax but no wet sanding no uh, sanding sealer got a nice finish all the way through the reflections are deep in the front in the back they look really good could have wet sanded this area a little bit more but that's not bad okay we're ready to remove it out of the uh, the chuck and finish off the bottom on it So anyway, applied one coat CA glue for the base finish and like he says, now that's a shine. Right Elias? Yep. But I like this shine better than that shine. Yeah I do too. I was just thinking that's a shine because it is. Okay. Well, <clears throat> stand close so you show it to the camera. I'll bring the lens to you. Thank you, YouTubers. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to his channel. <laughs> <laughs> and see you soon. Yes, no, don't let go. Gotta show it. See? Gotta show it to the camera. There you go. Make sure that they see it all. Good job. Well, this one was from Grandpa and Grandson. And he did an awesome job with all the wet sanding. That's how we established that look. Inside is a nice finish as well. I was able to get in there a little bit better than some of the pieces that I do. The bottom, just applied one, me, one coat of medium CA to it, uh, just to finish it off. I rather than buffing it, just to be different. Anyway, but that's a nice luster throughout that. Uh, and the design, the shape of it, it's a little different. It's nice. I would have liked if the neck piece stood on it, but it <laughs> broke off at one point and I think maybe it was a good thing because I reshaped the whole bottom over here, uh, made this a lot slimmer uh, and it complemented the whole piece a little bit better. See you soon.